We begin in the featherweight division and about scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Here's our tale of the take for our opener, Alexei Uliana from Russia, ranked number nine in the world, 30 years old, five foot nine inches tall, but it'll be Masaro Glunder who has a three and a half inch reach advantage. Professional experience goes to the younger Masaro Glunder. Win percentage also goes to Uliana, but the KO percentage and the power goes to Masaro Glunder. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds in Glory's featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, a two-time world champion, also a Russian and European champion. His record stands at 32 wins, 12 losses, four bouts scored even, and 20 career knockouts. At five feet, eight inches tall, 1.73 meters, he went in to fight time at 143.1 pounds, 64.9 kilos. He fights out of the Moluccan Republic. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Masaro, the Project Glunder. And now his opponent fighting out of the white corner, a Russian national champion and a Tatnap Cup champion. His professional record, 27 wins with six losses, one draw and one no contest. He has seven career knockouts. At five feet, nine inches tall, 1.76 meters, he went in at 142.6 pounds, 64.7 kilograms. He fights tonight out of Kuzbas, Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Alexei Uliano. The third man inside the glory ropes, your referee is Paul Nichols. Gentlemen, you understand the rules that you're fighting to. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Do you have any questions? Touch gloves if you like. Push back. Judge. Judge. Alexei Ulyanov, the son of a hard working coal mining father, said he'd wake up every day, go 200 meters underground, came back covered in soot, and here he is in the middle of a kickboxing ring for the biggest kickboxing organization in the world. His family's proud of him. Break. And he wants to keep things going Fight. here against Masaro Glunder. Right away, you can see Masaro really want to use his reach and his length. That's where he's popping the jab, but good job at Ulyanov slipping off and coming into the middle. Is it me or does Glunder look a little thicker than normal, a little more muscle? Break. Yeah, it looks like he's had a good weight cut in recovery. Fight. I know he focuses on his strength and conditioning a lot with his coach, Milano. Fighting out of the Mulliken Republic, but trains and lives now in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, under the tutelage of Mike right. Passanier at a Big Mike's gym. Fight! Jab to the body there for Glunder. Glunder, just 24 years old, has already had over 50 pro fights. Break! Break! No holding. Fight! Actually, this is his 49th pro fight. I was close. Record of 32, 12, and 4, has 20 wins by KO. Break! That's a 62% knockout percentage. Fight! Seems like Ulyanov really wants to fight on the inside. Almost a, the mouthpiece almost coming out there for Glunder. Yeah, Ulyanov does need to be careful. Masaro's really good at punching on angles. He's got those long, wiry arms that, that do have a lot of power. Good start for that hidden move style for Glunder. Liliana fighting out of Kuzbas, Russia, the home also of light heavyweight champion Artem Vahitov. And there's a, a groundswell of support to try and get glory to come to Russia. Can you imagine what that would be like? Traveled all over the world. Oh, a knee to the body, another one. Apparently got a low blow in there as well. It's good timing, though, from Ulyanov. Especially as Glunder's trying to crash distance with his hands. Good opening round for Ulyanov. 
Yeah, body staying kick. technical, staying defensive, trying to control the distance and range of the fight. The coach! How about some fighter profiles? We'll start in the corner of the Russian, Alexei Ulyanov. You can see we asked him why is he so dangerous. He said, I'm from Russia. Like, he's the son of a coal miner, grew up very tough. Said he never thought he'd be a professional fighter, just went to a Muay Thai gym to get in shape. Turned out he got really good at it, and it just happened. His favorite technique, counterattacking, although you couldn't really tell that from round one. He was on the front foot. Yeah, he was pushing, he needed to close that distance in. His opponent, Masara Glunder, nicknamed the Project, son of MMA veteran Rodney Glunder. And the best move that you see with Masaru is he's got this vicious knee to the head that he can throw from outside or inside. But so far, it's Ulyanov really trying to pressure that range, take that knee away from him. We do have open scoring here tonight. And there are the official judges' scores what? from round one. A sweep for the Russian, 10-9 all the way across the board. And Ulyanov, I mean, maybe one and two in glory, but his two losses were, you know, to Pet Panamarung, the current champion, and he has a split decision loss to Giga Chikatse, which could have easily gone either way. On paper, this looked like a 50-50 fight. Ulyanov's range control, he either stays just outside or inside, making it difficult for Masaro to get any combinations off. Oh, nice kick there. Not ruled a knockdown, though. There's Almost big Mike Passanier in the corner of Masaro Glover. One of the great characters in all of kickboxing. Is currently writing a book, he tells me. Right. Stop pulling in. He also told me he's been working out and training Badr Hari right now. Interesting yep. to see what his future will hold. Right. Fight. Last time we saw him was against Hesty Gerges, a unanimous decision win. Head punches Joe in the edge, substantially going to Uliana. Yep, there's now Masaro trying to use his knees. But you can see just how technical Ulyanov is. Fight. That's the second time Ulyanov has sort of manhandled Glunder. Right. Did it against the ropes earlier. And there he is again. Five. You cannot trip, you cannot throw. Take public warning, stop holding. Take timing, and fight. Warning there from Paul Nichols. But Glender's got to get busy, Joe. Yeah, he needs to put his combinations together, and I think he's got to keep it at range, just like that. He can't crash and throw his punches and, and overthrow his punches where he ends up too close. Well, he does have a three and a half inch reach advantage. Fight. And he needs to try to use it. And then if Ulyanov does crash the range, that's where his knees are. Well, he put everything he had into that left hook. Yeah, it seems like something's off with Masaro's. His Is balance. His, yeah. I don't know if it's his right hip or. Break. Yeah, he's gone to ground several Fight. times. Good head movement from Ulyanov. And there's Vitaly Miller in the corner of Ulyanov. Gotta like what he's seeing right now. They even have Ulyanov switching stances. Break! Fight! How about some gory rules if you haven't joined us before? Three rounds, three minutes each. That's what makes these first two rounds so crucial for Masaru Glunder. You get behind two rounds, you're almost done. You need a knockout. Punches, kicks, and knees are the legal strikes. Three knockdowns in a round, four in the fight, and it is a TKO.
Lori Scoring is using the following prioritized criteria, starting with knockdowns, followed by damage. Then we're looking for number of clean scoring strikes with an emphasis on spectacular techniques over normal techniques. Finally, if there's no clear advantages, judges go for aggression. And we do have open scoring tonight, as you've seen. Five judges scoring the fight. You'll see their scores after each and every round on your screen. The fighters and the trainers will be made aware as well. We showed you Cedric Dumbe earlier, his opponent right there, Alim Nabiev out of Azerbaijan, arriving to the arena. It's basically, you win, you get a world title shot. That's what's up for grabs here tonight. Round three of this featherweight bout. And three judges giving the second round for Uliana. Two for Glunder as he lands a left hook. But Joe, there's the story. Glunder needs a knockdown. Yep, and he's really relying on those knees. Ulyanov has double landed in total strikes, and he's more accurate, Joe. Yep, that's where Masaro needs to kind of put things together more. I mean, we haven't really seen him kick much. He's heavily relying on his hands and his knees. He's got to do something a little bit different here. Yeah, you raised the question earlier, is something wrong with Masaru Blunder? Yeah, what do you think now? I don't know, because we really haven't seen any kicks from him. Yeah, and he's been wobbly and off balance. Even when he throws punches, his, something's wrong with his foundation. Or so it seems. Fight. Fight. A quick glance at the clock for Ulyanov. A minute 45 to go. Connects and snaps the jaw to the side there for Uliana. Yeah, but those are the type of exchanges that Masaro wants. Trying to get it scrappy because Masaro's got these punches that can hit on different angles and can easily knock you out. He's still very dangerous. Neutral. This makes it interesting. Yeah, point deduction here could change everything. You tell me when you're ready. Yes, it was. You good? Ulianov doesn't speak English, but I think he got the Fight. message. Don't hit him low. A minute to Great. go here for Glunder to get a knockdown. Fight. I don't think Glunder's thrown Fight. one kick this round. No, it's heavily relying on the knees. Let's see how he gets up. A oh, little bit better this time. This could be Ulyanov just Break. doing a good job at shutting down Masaro's Break. offense, not giving him the space to do anything. Just watch the footwork of Blunder as he jumps in with the right hand there. Good strike. The footwork just seems a little off. He's landed that right Break. hand a couple times. Break. Maybe the canvas is slippery for him, but Break. we haven't really seen anyone slipping in the, in the prelim bouts. This is not the best version of Masaru Glunder we've seen, I can assure you that. No, the, the best the last time we saw him was at Glory 56 Denver, where he had this perfect performance against, you know, Quay Taranaki. And we we're hoping to get that Masaru tonight. All right. The first two rounds went to Alexei Ulyanov. Who won the third and who won the fight? That answer when we return to Strasbourg. We welcome you back to Strasbourg. Here's highlights of our opening contest between Masaru Glunder and Alexei Uliana. It was a really tough fight and a lot of scrappy exchanges, especially into the clinch. Uliana did a good job at really keeping Masaru away from getting any of his output. You saw him really close in there, in or out. Masaru really trying to use his reach and trying to get there with his knees. And just a scrappy little fight. Hard for both guys to get really offense. There really wasn't any big spectacular shots that did too much damage in the fight so there's a, a few right hands but nothing really significant to really sway
Here are the strike count statistics. Glunder landing only seven kicks. I don't think any of those came in round number three, but the total strikes not even close. Alexei Ulyanov dominating from start to finish. Strikes by zone. Ulyanov really focusing on the head and the body where Masaru was trying to go for those knees and those big right hands, but wasn't really successful with it. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout goes to the distance, so we go to the judges' scorecard. Let's take a look at the totals. Four of our judges score the bout 29-28. The fifth and final judge scores at 30-27. All for your winner by unanimous decision. Alexei Uliano! Not a lot of drama there. But what did you make of Alexei Ulyanov's performance? Well, he did what he had to do. He had to close the distance. He knew Masara was dangerous, had a lot of power, and had a reach advantage. So he did what he had to do on the inside and got his win. And now it's two wins in a row, beating Zakaria Zugari. And now, you know, Masara Glunder. So good things for Ulyanov.